Hello and welcome. Today I want to talk about some Victorinox multi-tools that you should have in an EEC kit. These are a variety of different tools. We have several different models we're going to get through today and talk about a little bit. And they all have different features and different uses and different sizes. Now beginning with our tool set for today, we have the Victorinox Alox number 7. Number seven being a reference to how many tools it has in it. Dimension is going to be 0 0.6 inches. Length is 3.7 inches. Width is 0 0.9 inches. And the weight is 3 ounces with the Alux scale materials in silver. The next one we have is going to be the Alux Farmer. This has nine different tools. It's also 0 0.6 inches in height. Length is 3.7 inches. Width is going to be 0 0.9 inches. And it also weighs 3 ounces. Next up to that is going to be the Victorinox Huntsman, and that's going to have 15 tools in it. And the height's going to be a little bit different at 0 0.8 inches. 3.6 inches width is going to be 1 inch, and the weight's going to be heavier at 3.4 ounces. Moving along, we have the Huntsman Light. This has 21 different tools in it. The height's going to be 1 inch. Length is going to be 3.6 inches. Width is going to be 1 inch, and the weight is going to be 4.3 ounces. Moving back to some smaller options, we have the Midnight Manager, and this has 10 different tools in it, and the height's going to be 0 0.6 inches, length is going to be 2.3 inches, width is 0 0.8 inches, and the weight is 1.1 ounces. Next up is a slightly bigger version of the smaller format, and that is the Midnight Mini Champ. That has 17 different types of tools, height's going to be 0 0.7 inches, Length is going to be 2.3 inches, width is 0 0.8 inches, and the weight is 1.6 ounces. Going back to the 91 millimeter platform, we do have the venerated Swiss Champ model, and that has 33 functions. The height is going to be 1.3 inches, length 3.6 inches, width 1 inch, and the weight is 6.5 ounces. Last but not least is the Cyber Tool Light, which has 25 different functions. The height's going to be 1.4 inches, length 3.6 inches, and the width is 1 inch, as well as the weight as 6.1 ounces. The Victorinox lineup of tools offers a lot of different varieties of options. Not just what we have listed today, what we're going to go through, but one of the main reasons why I would recommend people having these tools in general is that they can be customized to each person's need on their platforms. And for the weight, to size ratio they can offer a lot of feature packed items and they are also made with high quality materials and they've been around for many years and have proven themselves throughout the decades that the business has been running here at the table we can see the lineup of different tools we have and we're going to again start with naming each one of these from left to right we have the alox number seven the alox farmer the huntsman the huntsman light the Midnight Manager, Midnight Man uh, the Midnight Mini Champ, and the Swiss Champ here. And finally, we have the Cyber Tool Lite. Now, each of these have a different function, as I mentioned before, and they might fit your purposes based on what you're looking to do. Some are more lightweight, more minimalistic. Others are more of a completionist type of philosophy, while still maintaining some type of small form factor. And that's, again, subjective. Starting with the... Alox number seven. This has metal type of scales here with no extra tools in it. And as we go up the line, we'll find out that we do have tools with the standard type of scales, and there are variations on the scales as well. For the Alox number seven, we have a awl. It's fairly good awl. And on this version of the Alox, we have a slightly improved pin blade. So this is slightly wider than your typical 91 millimeter type of platform pen blade. The spine is also thicker as well. So that's important to note. So you get a slightly better premium blade, in my opinion, with the Alox variants. And now we have the saw here. A good quality saw that we find on the Huntsman and Huntsman Lite and the Swiss Champ. We have a shoe bill or an electrician's blade here. And then we have our standard slotted screwdriver, bottle cap lifter, and wire bender. And that is it for the Alox number seven. A very minimalistic and sleek design and very nice feeling textured type of tool.
Moving along, we have the Alox Farmer, and this varies it a little bit. We do have a keychain holder here on the, on the end. It's important to note. Much like the number seven, we have the all, and then we have the main blade. Then we have the saw, and again, we have our three combo slotted bottle cap and wire bender. And this one varies it a little bit with the traditional type of Phillips head slash slotted screwdriver slash can opener. And that is it for the Alox Former. A very nice sleek design. Again, has a little bit more utility than the number seven. But again, it really depends on that type of blade you want versus the can opener. So two items to consider, but a little bit more on the expensive side due to the scales and a little bit more sleeker. Moving over to the more traditional type of 91 millimeter platform knives, we have the Huntsman and Huntsman Lite. There are tons more models that are different than these two, but these are the two that I particularly like and I would probably recommend if you're into the outdoors. Starting with the Huntsman Lite, we have the traditional scales, which have tools in it. We have the tweezers here, which you'll find on the rest of these tools here as well. And we have a toothpick slot here as well. Now you can get aftermarket modifications, which include a ferrule bar in there and we'll go over that with the other models I have on the table again they all have the tools in the slots here and we have a corkscrew which we'll find in the rest of our tools here again and also a pin in the scale here a stainless steel pin so we have those tools in the back here that's different than the alox models and then in the back we also have a hook which we'll find in the rest of these models as well and we also have a all, which we'll also find in the rest of these 91 millimeter models as well. On the top, all the models are going to have a combo tool like we have on the ALOC scale ones. This is the slotted bottle cap wire bender. And all these other 91 millimeters are also going to have this can opener combo tool as well. And they'll also have this newer tool, which is the scissors, one of the best types of of scissors on a multi-tool period in my opinion they all are featured on the rest of these models very sharp very precise and second to none in my opinion and then we'll have a saw which we find on the alox models the huntsman and the swiss champ again a nice saw for the size you can do a lot of processing with that at camp and make different tools and items and then we'll also have the pen blade which we'll also have on the rest of these models here too it's the same type of pen blade a little bit thinner like we mentioned versus the alox slightly thinner on the spine here a little bit th different shaping too on the blade itself so slightly different blade you get a more of a premium one on the alox once again and then we also have the mini pointed blade here basically this is found on the Huntsman, Swiss Champ, and also the Cybertool Lite. So you're starting to notice a common feature of the 91mm. So you just keep adding and adding different layers of different tools. So that is the Huntsman Lite, a nice minimalistic outdoor tool in my opinion. Something that offers slightly more utility than some of the tools on the Alox scales type of tools. So something to consider when you're looking to get a Victorinox Swiss Army Knife for your EDC kit. Moving along, we have the Huntsman Lite. We already went over almost all the tools here. I'll go over some of the tools that we don't have on the Huntsman. That being is the light module on here, which runs on coin cell batteries, two 1225 batteries to be precise. And we have an inline 3D Phillips head screwdriver this time with this as an added layer in the layering section. And we also have extra an extra tool in the back that is the smaller slotted screwdriver, which will be on the Swiss Champ here as well as we move up the line. Now, what they also added is a smaller type of slotted driver for glasses in the corkscrew section. So we'll also have that in the Swiss Champ and also in the Cybertool Lite. Moving along to what they call the plus scales. These are the same scales as the Huntsman here, but they added instead of just two tools they added a third one which is the small ballpoint pressurized pen and that is pretty much the most main difference between the plus scales and the regular scales and in this particular model and the other models i have here i have a ferrule bar for sparking and starting fires so i have a little bit of fire starting on here i have a lighting source and i have a cutting tool and also a writing tool in my huntsman 
light here in my Swiss Champ. I just have the three of those without the light. And the server tool again has those four different types of tools. But we're jumping ahead too much. So that's the Huntsman and Huntsman Light the difference between them. And this might be something for someone who's willing to carry another layer on their Swiss Armory tool and has a little bit more functionality in terms of covering three different EDC items that I do recommend having a writing tool, a cutting tool, and a lighting tool all into one. And again, this is not made to be a primary lighting element or a writing element. It's just there as a backup option and it has come in handy in my experiences. Moving along, combining with that three EDC item that you should carry probably is the pen on the Midnight Miniature. This is a small 58 millimeter type of knife and as you can see it has a pen in here and on the other side we do also have a small red led light this is the first generation in place of the tweezers and toothpick so again we have a writing element a lighting element and then in the item itself we also have the standard main pen blade for the cutting tool and we have a nice little tool here this is a combo piece this is a bottle cap lifter wire bender and a 3d phillips screwdriver that's magnetized and then on this side, we have our slotted screwdriver with a small nail file. You can also use this as a small Phillips head screwdriver as it is contoured to fit that. And we also have our scissors here as well. And these are very precise and excellent cutting scissors. And again, this runs on a smaller type of coin cell battery, which you can replace once it runs out. So that is a nice little minimalistic 58 millimeter lightweight option that includes light, cutting tool and a writing tool. If you're looking for a little bit more utility, we have the Midnight Mini Champ, which features the same exact tools on here and just slightly different orientations. But again, we have the pen. And in this particular model, we have the upgraded LED, which is a white LED module. And it shines a little bit brighter. And it's a little bit easier to see in the dark. Again, we have our combo tool here with everything in it. We have our main blade here. We have our famous scissors here. On the other side, we have a couple new things. We should have our pointed nail file, not a slotted screwdriver nail file, and that changes a little bit here. And we also have our sheep's foot thinner cutting knife. And then we have our orange peeler slash box opener, which is sharpened on one edge here. So it's great for that kind of type of cutting or opening packages, which is very nice to have. And then we also have our ruler section with a slotted slash combo 2D Phillips head screwdriver at the top here and a blank side here on the nail neck side. And moving over to finally our nail file or rather nail cuticle pusher. I use this as a small scoop and a small light duty pry bar and even in some cases a kind of rounded slotted screwdriver. So that is the Midnight Mini Champ. Again, an excellent tool with the white LED. If you're looking for a little bit more functionality in your small form factor, my particular preferred choice. Moving back to the 91 millimeter platforms, much like the rest of these here, we have very similar tools. Again, I'm not gonna go over all of them, but just some of the differences. In this one, in the back, we do have a chisel in one of the layers here. So that's important to note. And we still have our slotted screwdriver here, our hook, and our all in the back here. And much like the Huntsman Light, we have our corkscrew with a microdriver inside of it, our pin in the scale here. And much like the plus scales on our Huntsman Light, we also have the ferro rod in here, my pressurized pen. And on the other side, I'll have a pair of tweezers, which we don't have to take out, but they are there. Some of the differences here, we do have the 3D screwdriver here in this model in a slightly different orientation, but we also have in that same scale a rather same layer, we have a magnifying glass, which is great for starting fires as well and inspections. And in this one, we have a newer tool, a rather different tool, which is the newer updated type of plier heads from Victorinox. The older ones did not have these wire benders in them. And we can see this has a very, very tiny, very, very thin wire card in the center here for very thin wire. We have our standard plier head here and a more finer tooth plier head at the top here with a replaceable spring here. And then we still have our scissors here, as we already know. And in this particular model, we have a fish descaler here. This is something that we haven't found yet. And it has a ruler with it in inches and in centimeters here. So this is the centimeters, inches. We have the descaler here and a hook remover, I believe, is the front here. I use this for other things, such as light duty scraping and whatnot. 
And then we have our typical cell, which we found already in the previous models. And we also have our newer tool, which we haven't seen yet. This is a three-sided file. Very useful and a poking top there. And then we have our typical pen blade knives inside of here, as we can see. And the secondary one as well. So that is the Swiss Champ. A very functional, buy it in one and done kind of tool. Very heavy duty, and not heavy duty, but heavy in terms of the weight and bigger, obviously probably one of the biggest on the table in the size. So if you have the room and you want to make sure you got most of your bases covered, I'd say and recommend the Swiss Champ. That would fill out your EDC kit pretty well. If you're not focused on having a heavy duty pliered environment or environment that requires heavy duty pliers. Moving along, we have a very similar tool to the Swiss Champ and the rest of these tools here. A lot of the same tools are in it. And we have the plus scales, again, the ferrule rod in here, the ballpoint pen, the corkscrew with the microdriver and the pin inside. This particular one does not have most of the tools in the scale as the Swiss Champ in the back, but we do have the hook and the awl. And we have our tweezers here, obviously. We still have our magnifying glass. So some of the differences, though, with this one, we do have a unique bit driver for the namesake of the CyberTool Lite. Opens in a 90-degree fashion and also in line. And it has these removable bits in here via this bit holder here. And they have bold detents in it. It's, it's a proprietary tool, so you can only get the Victorinox bits to fit in here. Although they do make adapters, aftermarket adapters for this, that you can find out online. So we have that with the Cyber Tool, a very useful item. In addition to that, we have, again, the light module, which we found in the Huntsman Light. This particular module is the newest one. As you can tell, it's clear. It's a little bit more brighter than the gray module. This is a Generation 2. So that's important to know if you're going to buy a light module of a 91 millimeter platform knife, you wanna make sure you get the clear module because that's gonna have a little bit more brightness to it. And it's gonna be a little bit more neutral white in terms of its tint color, if you're interested in that. So that is some of the differences with Cyber Tool Light versus the Swiss Champ and the rest of the lineup here. Again, we have our standard pliers here and we have our scissors here. And we also have our standard pen blade knives and smaller blade so that is the cyber tool light something more for an electronics background or urban setting where you can make use of that longer reach driver because it allows you to reach deeper into something and also when you pull this out and you go to drive something in the dark you can use the light to see where you're driving that's one of the main benefits of having the cyber tool light and why i would recommend it for anybody who has an electronics background or uses electronics or has to fix electronics daily the tool sets offer quite an amazing amount of features as we've seen they can kind of fit in a niche role and I'll give you some examples of why these tools are pretty good for an EDC kit let's say you're out in the trails like I am and you're working and you're doing maintenance and uh, sometimes I might not have the proper tool on me at the time that I need it but I may have this Huntsman, for example, and part of my job is maintaining the trails and cutting small branches of small diameters and things like that that get into the trail that could potentially be a hazard. So instead of hiking two or three miles back down a pretty elevated part of the park, I can just take out the Huntsman saw here and I can process and kind of clear up parts of the trail now is this a primary tool to use for trail maintenance no but in a pinch it can come in handy and save me time than having to go back to the office and get a proper saw and if you know how to use this tool it can be very effective when it comes to working outdoors you kind of learn how to use skills involved with the tool itself so you can use it in creative and different ways and i believe the platform that the victorinox knives have kind of pushes you towards that in my opinion so another example on the farm where i've heard stories where farmers would carry some type of victorinox multi-tool maybe one of these or maybe the plier based ones but the point is they can pull out a certain tool like a screwdriver or something like that and fix their fence or their barbed wire or something like that and then keep going on with their day whereas they would might have to hike like maybe a mile back to their barn and find the tools 
and then get back out again. So about two miles round trip. So all that time, it comes down to time and efficiency. And yes, these are not proper tools, but they can save you in a pinch. And I do believe the third option is the best tool that's on you is the one you're going to use at the time when you need it and it's going to be on you and most likely you'll have one of these victronox knives on you at the time you're going to need it and that's better than a tool that's out in a garage uh, that's probably more rated for what you're trying to do in other words these can offer a variety of options at the time that you need it and that is a good reason why you could carry it in with an edc kit that's pretty much all I have to say about the tools on the table. As you can see, each one has a slightly different area of expertise, if you will, or a catch-all type of approach or a minimalistic type of approach like the ALOX variants here. And that's why I recommend that you should have at least some type of Victronox or Swiss Army knife in your kit. Again, there's many, many, many more models of these out there. Just do your research and try to find the ones that fit your needs and your specifications and that's all i have to say about the victorinox switch on my lineup i love these tools some of them are on loan like the alox ones here the others i own and i've been using for a long time now and i've customized them to my uses so you can get into that yourself with your edc kit and edc items and that's all i have to say for today thanks for watching and enjoy your day